Hey hi, this is Sandeep and <clears throat> in this tutorial we're gonna learn about uh, bindings and uh, the iterators which are present in the bindings. Okay, so it's go it's not going to be a very much practical kind of a tutorial. It's going to be a kind of a theory where I'll be just covering or kind of wrapping up with uh, some of the leftover topics that have been left so far. Okay, so here I have created the simple page and here is the department view that I have dragged in over here and. <clears throat> here is one button button so I'll explain step by step uh, so uh, firstly I drag department view over here what uh, will this do this will actually bind all these kinds of variables which have already come in here and these navigations buttons with the bindings okay so we go to the bindings we see that there is this iterator okay this iterator is basically a binding it is not an iterator particularly it's a binding which gets the handle over the iterator okay so and it points to this view so this it uh, this binding will get the handle to the iterator which will in turn iterate and as you can see range size is 25 that means the number of records that are fetched from this view will be 25 okay so when the user is scrolling through the records uh, this binding will be used to get a handle over the iterator and which will basically get the 25 records and if the user goes on uh, clicking even after the 25 I mean at first stage uh, 25 records will be fetched in from the data source from the DB and if the user goes on the 26th record by clicking or navigating by next uh, button then another set of 25 would be pulled in oh okay so this is how the data is pulled in sets of 25 so you can modify this also and here is the refresh property uh, so refresh property here is we have got different options so basically here you can tell when to refresh this binding okay so just point to be noted that iterator itself is not going to be refreshed okay when you say this refresh op option this is only meant to refresh this binding what does that mean it means the process when this binding gets a handle over the iterator that's called the refresh okay and here is the condition when you can uh, put a refresh so there are various life cycles of the page uh, for example firstly the model is prepared and then the it, it is rendered so here you have got number of bunch bunch of options where you can choose and set where in which point of time of the phase you want to refresh this binding okay and you if you want you can uh, put the refresh condition also okay so this is how uh, it goes and this is about iterator and here you are seeing these are actually the value bindings which are giving us the values okay from the DB and as you can see these buttons over the navigation buttons uh, so corresponding to them also there is this binding so these are basically the buttons and if you click on them you can see their action listener says bindings dot first dot execute so bindings uh, it goes in bindings and first is the method and execute is execute this method so in the bindings also we see there is this first method so point to be noted here is that these are the value bindings and these are action mind uh, sorry these are method bindings okay so this is how it goes these are the methods first previous next and last and you can call them with bindings dot this name first previous next last or whatsoever and then execute okay so you can call them and as you can see over here uh, I have got the next button and here in the uh, if you click on next button you see uh, hold on yeah action is nothing and action listener so talking about the action and action listener what are they action is basically used to specify where to go okay and in action listener you specify which method to call for example this complete thing can be explained with the help of this button firstly I dragged a button over here and then if you see this action it says go to success page and basically here if you click go to success page action comes to this page success page okay so here I got this uh, button if you click on this this outcome would be generated this uh, and due to this it would be forced to navigate to the success page so this is how navigation is controlled and on the same time this method will also be called so point to be noted here is that action is meant for navigation and action listener is meant for calling any method and what kind of method basically you can call you can call any method that is inside a bean or you can call any method that is on VO or in application module provided they are exposed to the client okay so talking about uh, <coughs> Uh, 
calling the method in a bean you can click like this you can go to the edit you can choose your bean over here and then you can define a method by new and click ok okay so that is how you can call a method in a bean from here and if you want to call some method uh, which is a part of a view which is defined in the view IMPL or application uh, IMPL then firstly they should be exposed over here I've already got some methods uh, this is departments view this is this was one of the method that I wrote in the departments view IMPL class and this was exposed to the client so that is the reason you are seeing here um, it in the data control okay so they are there in the data control so to design this particularly I simply drag this method over here and what did it do it actually created this action listener it said like okay this is the method and when I drag it over to this button this means that when I click this button this method should be called and when it can be called only when the binding of this method is added to this page over here which is automatically added when I dragged it and then in the action listener you say bindings dot a method in view dot execute okay so there are two ways basically two ways in the sense like one way I already showed that I simply dragged it over it so simply it added the binding automatically if you want to add the binding you can go ahead click over here and then you can say okay I want a method method binding okay so I want to say method action and then click OK so click OK so here you, here you will have all here if you choose the data control all methods which have been written and exposed to the client in AMIMPL are present over here so you can click any one of them and you can supply the parameters if at all they are there and click OK so that this binding would come over here okay similarly if you want to uh, if you want to pull in this method so this method as you see it was there in the departments view so you click on this there is this method so you just click on this and you know this method expect uh, is expecting a parameter you can supply the value from here and then you can just uh, call it or you can just uh, make uh, this method available in the binding so earlier it was already available because I dragged it actually you will not be needing to actually um, uh, add binding manually because whatever you drag to the page binding is automatically added over there okay so this is about the action the action listener and sometimes so basically one more topic I want to cover over here is that sometimes uh, you have a need that suppose you are displaying this page and before this page renders and after this page renders you want to execute something no doubt you can do it by placing the methods or operations whatever you want to do in the task flow just ahead of this page and just behind this page but uh, there is something called as listeners there are something called as listeners so you can design that also firstly you would need to write a class for example this piece of code sub, you write some class my page class and it should actually uh, implement this page phase listener okay and here you can override two method before phase and after phase this is after phase this is before phase and you will notice that this gets called after uh, the processing of the page is complete and this gets called before its processing okay so this is how they are called and if you want to do some operations just before this page loads or after this page loads you can do it over here so this actually when you define this you can actually register this page uh, page phase listener in uh, globally so that when each and every page is called this listener would be called so you can do whatever you want but actually talking about the enterprise application you wouldn't uh, have a need that after each and every page is called you want to do some kind of operation and you always want to do it with the page phase listener no it won't be so basically there would be enterprise uh, need in which uh, you would be needing this kind of a page listener on some pages only so firstly you will define this class like this okay and then you want to register this okay so suppose you have to register this for this page okay so you go to the bindings go to this page definition and if you see over here if you click over here you can select this in the structure node and here is uh, if you if you just uh, select this page definition in the structure window like this there is a control class over here go ahead click at it and you can come over here in the search and you can uh, just type in your class whatever you have defined so what will happen it will tell that okay boss this is the uh, definition of the page in which I am registering uh, a page phase listener so basically this is how you register it so that each and every time this page is called or rendered before phase and its after phase those two methods would be called okay so this is how we register it for a single page and this is how the need is going to be at most of the times you can always search for 
and if you want you can always search on the Google how to register a lifecycle listener for a single page you will get these methods only which I have already described so these were some things about these miscellaneous topic that I just wanted to cover over here thank you I'll see you in the next tutorial